Obedience does not require a crowd. Most of the times, when God's getting ready to bless you, he will tell you something that's only for you. And as long as, watch this now, he wants to bless you, and he'll tell you something only for you. And he's going to bless you. He intends to bless you. It is his desire to bless you. But oftentimes, he doesn't bless us because we need the approval of other people around us. Preach, Reverend. I have learned over the years that when God is getting ready to bless Paul B. Mitchell, the people around him, oftentimes, I don't even tell. Because the people around me love me, but they don't get me. They, they, don't, they, don't, they don't get me. They don't get me. When God's getting ready to bless you, most of the people in your space won't get you. They say, she's weird. She, she, she's just weird. And, 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 and he's off. That's not how we taught him. That's not what we told him. That's not how he was raised. That's not the arena he came from. And what they don't understand is God is trying to get us out of the old arena. Come on, Abraham, get thee up from thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house and go into a land that I will show you. He says, and there and only there will I bless you. I will bless you over there. But if you decide to stay with everybody you know and are familiar with over here, you will not get what I have for you over here. Oftentimes when God's about to bless you, he'll say, over here. But God, I don't know anybody over there. He said, precisely. I have to get you away from these people. They're not necessarily bad people, but they have you thinking a certain way. And if I don't get you out of that arena into this new arena, you will never think another way. It's so in incredible. I first came to this country, my mom, quickly, and, 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 and we, we lived in Queens, and, 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 and Lord help me not to expose too much because <laughs> church people can't handle information. They just struggle with it. And, and, and so we're hanging around bad people. I'm, I'm saying we because I'm going to include all my brothers. <laughs> so you can't figure out which one it was. <laughs> And we're hanging around bad people, people who smoke marijuana, who was drinking 40s all day. Their only agenda was to hang out, get high, find a way to make a quick buck, talk to the prettiest girl on the block. I don't know why she would talk to you, but they thought it might have been a good idea. This was the agenda. I remember sitting in the back seat of a car and everybody was smoking marijuana. Everybody, everybody, I'm in the middle now. You know, back then they had those little big things in the back. It's not a seat all the way across. It's this big hump in the back. That was me, I was on the hump. All the weed smokers got nice, soft, cozy seats. But the one who got the joint, it was a joint. <laughs> I love church for the passage. Because they're going to act like they don't know what, what path, a joint. <laughs> you know what it is. And they would pass it, see. And they would go around, puff, puff, and pass. Is that proof I was there? That's proof. And, and, and Sister Miss, they'd pass it to me. And then when I got it, we'd be talking about it, and they'd pass it to me. I'd look at it and pass it on. Yeah, and, 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 and I felt the results of it, but I didn't smoke it, I, I, you know. <laughs> this is not going to end well. <laughs> Deacon, you prayed for me, aren't you? I came in the house one day and my mother smelt it on my clothes. And I couldn't convince mama that I didn't have any. And I was telling the truth at that time. <laughs> I was telling the truth, see. <laughs> I told you it wasn't going to end well. And my mother decided to move us. 
She said, I'm getting my children out of this community. At the time, I wasn't going to school. I was cutting school all the time to go play basketball. Moved us out to Nassau County. When I got to Nassau County, I got around a different set of people that I thought was so uncomfortable for me because these brothers went to school. (laughs) And went home after school. And did homework. (laughs) After school. And I begin to realize, even though I was angry in that season at my mama, I begin to realize she was trying to get something accomplished in us as young men. She understood the importance of who we ran with. Would you touch it up and tell them who you run with matters? Over time, guess what happened to me? I stopped cutting school. I went home after school. And I did homework. The devil is... (laughs) Who you run with matters. 